Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's the one and only, your boy. Awesome. No, 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 enough of that, enough of that. Let's get into the, what's seriously going on here. So, first off, Oda is the biggest troll of all manga cut history, first off. Secondly, y'all really thought Luffy was about to be out here looking like Bio Brawley. Thirdly, this boy Luffy went, this boy Luffy went Super Saiyan, bro. Like, let's actually look at it. This boy is Super Saiyan, like, bruh. That's a Super Saiyan. One Piece version. So, get let me just get this out of the out of the way, bro. Luffy is basically a Super Saiyan. Like what the like I'm going crazy. All right, all right, all right. Back to back to composure. Now then, the reason why I'm actually making a video besides the obvious is because I need to point out something. The Goru say said that Zoan type devil fruits have a mind of their own. This proves. That really, it's only Zoan types that have the ability to be eaten by inanimate objects. Mm -hmm. Nothing really confirms that, you know, Zoan, that Logia and Paramecia don't also have this innate ability, ability. However, we have yet to see any. And it was kind of confusing at first. I had to reread the chapter a few different times. But the basic synopsis is this. I'll go into bigger details later. A Zoan type has a will. You know, let's just continue with the thought process because it's it, it said it in black and white and in color, depending on, on which version you read. If we factor in that every Zoan, no matter what type, has a will, then what if mythical Zoans have an even more, I guess you can say, mythical version of said will. I know that's kind of me trying to string it together, but at the same time, it's me trying to get the thought process together. Really thinking about it, if we're going to go on the synopsis that the Gomu Gomu no Mi was the actual fruit that Luffy ate... Not the human human model Nika. Hey, does this mean that Luffy can go around saying my Nika? Wow, that joke was terrible. Hey, I'm on like three hours of sleep and it's currently midnight and I have to go to work at 6 a.m. Leave me alone. It makes me kind of just wonder. What if Zoan types, when it comes to the myth the mythical variety? What if they're the types that well let me word it differently. What if the reason why mythical Zoan types are so rare is because you can't just get them? Well, let me let me point another, you know, not to bring him up because he's not. Well, actually, no. It actually does kind of point out where Marco comes out of nowhere to protect everybody in chapter 1043. What if... And, and this is just a pure, pure thought process that I'm having right now based upon what I just read. What if Marco's fruit originally was not a phoenix? What if his fruit was... Because um, him being a bird and then gaining that fire? Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. D doesn't make sense. It makes more sense for him to have a type of healing flame that he kind of got this epithet of being a phoenix little did he know that his devil fruit literally was i guess you can say an innate mythical fruit posing as a paramecia or in marco's case i guess you can say logia no no it would be paramecia the same way because he's not a logia that necessarily he's a pair it would be paramecia healing himself so in essence the better version of the flare flare fruit if you want to look at it that way because if the flare fruit who could only burn marcos can burn and heal technically that is better 
But at the same time, it's not a logia. It's not the best part. It's not it's not the full effect of. But it's very close. And, and of course, this is headcanon, of course. This is all headcanon. But Marco's fruit awakened could have very well adapted the, you know, features of said Phoenix. Oh, and and and, and let's let's not talk about let's not forget Son Goku. The giant Buddha. Human human model Buddha, to be specific. What if it was just a shockwave? Similar to that of Kuma, weaker to that of um Whitebeard, well, no, no, at the time, Whitebeard. Weaker to Whitebeards. Then, once awakening, instead of being earth-shattering like Whitebeards, turns out to be an awakened mythic devil fruit. Like, think, like it, it, does, it opens the door to, to something that has never really been, dev like, 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 talked about enough. What exactly makes a fruit awaken? One. What exactly is the awakening? Two. And three. What makes it that classification? Because, and this is just how it's kind of looking. Innate mythical fruits take the form of of its innate ability. Luffy's Nika Nika, well, I guess the human human fruit model Nika took the form of a Gomu Gomu no Mi. Pretty much hiding its will, almost hiding itself. Marco's fruit could have did the same thing. Son, uh, uh, son, uh, son Goku's. And, and specifically so. And I think that has to do with paramecia. Whereas some paramecia stay paramecia, like for example, Doflamingo and Katakuri, others awaken fully into what they truly are. It is, I guess, a different type of awakening. Like, <sighs> trying to think of another example. Hmm. What if, nah, that's not, see, because I was trying to think of something like Buggy or, oh, man, what if, oh, man, hmm, well, actually, actually, there's a big out, there's, a, there's one big thing to, to, to throw a wrench in what I'm saying, because, oh, uh, Kaido's fruit. Though it be a fish fish, it's a model is a dragon. It's mythical. Orochi's the uh Orochi Rochi no me uh, the Orochi Rochi no me. <laughs> the the I think no no, I actually I think it is the Orochi Rochi no me. Like he'll turn like I, I can't think of I'm not tired. Um uh, basically he I, the, the, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, I'm good. It's like Orochi's fruit is definitely a mythic fruit, but is it a mythic? Oh, what's the best way I can say it? Is it a mythic fruit that needed to be awakened or was it pre-woke yeah that's basically what like like when does the devil fruit like what version of the fruit awakens and i know they didn't touch upon it but i still feel like all the fruits carry some type of will a little bit even slightly however we got straight up told that it, it, in Zoans, it's it's a fact, like a factoid. So if you take that info, mix it with current knowledge, you might come to the consensus that hey, what if fruits, Zoan, especially 
I, see, I, I, I want to say especially Mythical Zoan because at the same time, you got to remember, hey, there's a lot of fruits out there and there's a lot of paramecia. What if... Uh, it's like... Uh, this is a this is definitely a head scratcher. We have no choice but to have a break for this week because Shonen said so. So I'm going to probably reread this chapter again and then 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 again. Don't forget again. So I still need to figure out exactly what is going on. But point is luffy got super saiyan <laughs> he also has mixture of gum gum world that has been talked about minor and honestly this boy is omnipotent it is kind of broken but we can talk about that later for now you have a good night with me because yeah like i said it, it, it is nighttime see it is dark outside stay in store kitties